Hello, this is Atuba and Gloria Judge, and we are so excited and glad to be bringing God's truth to you today. Now, before going to the broadcast, can we call for that daily bread? You say this with faith and believe it. Say with us, say, Father, Father today, today I, demand, I demand and I receive, and I receive my daily bread. My daily bread. I, receive I receive it right now in Jesus' in name. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. It was Jesus that told us to pray that prayer. Yeah. Give us this day our uh, daily, daily bread. Praise mm. God. Amen. So Jesus was telling us that there is mm. daily bread to receive from God. Yeah. And then he says, you need to ask for it. Yeah. He didn't just say, I will find daily bread today. He said, no, when you pray, mm. when you pray, say, when you pray, pray like, like this. this. So you know, I said, there is daily bread to receive. Today. That's that's yeah. some good expo. <laughs> and we've been receiving because we pray this prayer every, every day. Because mm. yesterday's bread was for yesterday. Yeah. Today's bread is for today. today. So we're not going to say God has given us enough for today. And then, oh, God has given us enough to last us a month. No. <laughs> He's giving us enough. He's giving us enough to last us today. <laughs> it's for yesterday. It's for yesterday. Don't cheat yourself of the blessing of the Lord. He daily loads us with benefit. You know, that's why I keep saying that Jesus wasn't saying anything new. David was walking in the light of this truth because he says he daily loads us with benefits. Praise God. So that, that's why we pray that prayer. And then he commanded us on this broadcast. He said every day of it, you must lead the people to make this demand. Praise God. So now, who we're, we're talking about, I love the word of God. You know, when you start on it, he just begins to open, open your, your mind eyes. and open your eyes. And you think you're getting blessed. We are getting blessed. Yeah, praise God. We're getting blessed. Because we, 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 we are not following a script that we have written and then we have to stick so the Holy Ghost no. is leading us. Yeah, this voice, God. this same voice that we are talking to you about. Yeah, praise we Trust God. and follow His voice and leading as well. Not yeah, you were you were sharing something yesterday about walking in truth, yes. and before, you know, the Lord just brought that whole Esau thing, and yes. I had to share it. Yes, yes, we see but trust is truth. Yeah, Esau did not walk in truth. He didn't walk in truth. And to it an was extent, his decision yes. not to walk in truth. To an extent, he knew truth. Of course, but truth refused, will always be given yes, to you. He refused to walk in it. Yeah. And that brings me to lack of understanding. Just hearing truth mm. is not enough. Mm. You need to understand the Father's heart. Why is he saying I should walk in this truth? Hearing what the scripture says is it's not, not enough. enough. You need to understand why the Father said, so. said that. Now, yeah. that's also how you know the difference between what the Scripture, you know, you know how, how we say, understand the difference between the Bible and what the Word of God mm -hmm. is. Something, the fact that something is written in the Bible doesn't, doesn't mean it's it the it Word of way. God. Yeah. See, so if you understand the Father's heart, you can differentiate, no, God mm -hmm. couldn't have said this. So Esau, Esau never, Esau didn't know. All Esau thought about was, they are telling this boy to go and marry. Can you imagine? He's a very, he's childish, he's a small boy. They're even telling him where to go and marry for. He's, he's not matured enough. Mm -hmm. Me, we are the big boys. We know. <laughs> we, we make our choices ourselves. Because he didn't understand, didn't understand that there was a reason. Yeah. Understanding helps you to decipher the voices in your head. Because sometimes different suggestions will just be coming to you. It could be audible from other people. It could just be in your mind, playing here and there. When you understand the Father's heart, when the enemy is speaking, you will know. Yeah. This doesn't look like God. This sounds like God. Because you understand how he speaks. You know yeah. how he operates. And you know the authority behind his command. Now, let's not take it for granted that some people just feel do I know how God speaks to me? You see, God speaks. He does. 
That's the first thing you must accept. He speaks. Number two, he speaks to you. You don't need anything special for God to speak to you. You don't need, you don't need to get to a certain level for God to speak to you. No. Shockingly, God even started speaking to you before you got born again. Yeah. It was his voice that led you, you to salvation. Yes. But because you didn't know. Samuel, Eli did not pray for Samuel, Samuel before Samuel began to hear the voice of God. Samuel actually went to Eli and said, look, I'm hearing a voice. voice. Praise <laughs> God. I'm hearing a voice. So God is speaking to you. And now this is it. Most times... Now, I'm bringing this up because, you know, you said something. That God will always let you know what truth is. How does he let you know what truth is? No matter what anybody says to you, there is a spirit in you that shows you this is right. And this is wrong. This is wrong. Now, the problem with a lot of people is they don't pay attention to that voice. That voice is there. The voice is there. Jesus said, my sheep hears my voice. And they follow. So you hear first. Then the decision. You decide to follow. So you can hear truth and decide to do otherwise. So sheep don't only hear. Mm. They follow. The sheep, how he knows this is my sheep, Mm. is after they have heard they fall. Esau heard. He didn't fall. He landed in trouble. Now that voice is in you. Most times, you know, said my mind. My mind was telling me. <laughs> Do you know my mind was telling me this thing? No, it was in your mind. That was the voice of God coming to you. Mm. <laughs> it is good. That was the voice of God. See, but how do I know the difference? Mm. Very simple. Mm. Your mind cannot tell you what you don't know. Yeah. Your mind can never tell you what you don't know. And the problem with a lot of people is they don't choose to walk by faith. Because now, okay, your mind is telling you something good. Mm. Take a chance. That's when I mean take a chance. I'm putting it in your normal term. Mm. Take a chance and respond to that voice and see what's going on. Oh, I don't know. My mind is just telling me that I should, uh, I should do good to this person. Mm. And that's not the devil. Mm. The devil not... will tell you to do what is good. Take a chance and like, mm. you know what? Let me act on this. Mm-hmm. And you want to go somewhere and say, I don't know. My mind is just telling me not to go to this place. Now, when you pay attention to that, sometimes you begin to see reasons. This guy failed me the other time. So I, I, I don't know. I'm just feeling. Now, if God wants you to go, he will speak by a compelling voice. Yes. But when you, you normally just begin to feel that unrest, mm. feel reluctant. Like, don't go. Take a chance. And the moment you see that it is truth, acknowledge that voice. That's the, that's the introductory level yeah. in how to begin to walk by that voice. Mm. Just go ahead. I remember this scripture that helped me, you know, growing up in the Lord. I was trying to look for it. It says the wisdom, you know, first of all, Proverbs 3, 5. Is it Proverbs 3, 5 now? Okay, let me just say it. Wisdom is a principal thing. Proverbs 4, 7. Four. Okay, wisdom is a principal thing. Get wisdom. And in all you're getting, get understanding. understanding. So how do I even know which one is God's wisdom? I know. I remember why we're talking. I remember the scripture the Lord led me to see back in the years. In the New Testament, I can't remember precisely now, but it says the wisdom that is from above is first of all, that's James. I think it's James 4. Okay, let's, let's go there, please. James chapter 3. It's chapter 3, yeah. yeah just James so chapter yeah, 3. So yeah. It says, um, from, verse 15. from verse 15, this wisdom does not descend from... Oh, or maybe from, from verse from 14. Ke- okay, okay. 
Can we do 13, please? From okay. verse 13. Okay. Who is wise and understanding among you? Let him show by good conduct that his works are done in the meekness of wisdom. Who is a wise woman? Who is a wise man? Who is a wise husband? Who is a wife? wise wife let him show by what by good conduct, conduct. and that his works are done in the in meekness, meekness of wisdom that means my action is done in the meekness of wisdom which is truth but but if you have that's 14 but if you have bitter envy and self-seeking in your heart do not boast and lie against the truth this wisdom does not descend from above but is earthly is sensual is demonic that is the wisdom that makes you bitter makes you envious and makes you self-seeking in your heart so it is earthly let me just say this when you know sometimes you're thinking of thoughts if you're thinking of how to deal with somebody how to do evil, evil. to somebody mm -hmm. for any reason maybe the person has wronged you yeah and you're thinking and then what kind of wisdom begin to come to you and you have to answer, ah, when I do, when I deal with him like this, he will know. You're trying to inflict pain on someone. That's what he's saying. That if you have bitter envy and self-seeking in your heart, now that's what's in your heart. So wisdom begins to come to you on how to express that bitter envy or self-seeking. He says, do not boast and lie against, against the, truth. the truth. That wisdom is not it's from not the Lord. It's not true. It is actually earthly, sensual, sensual demonic. and demonic. Satan is helping you go somewhere. Wow. That's Satan because she decided to exalt his voice above the, the voice of God. Yeah. 16. For where envy and self-seeking exist, confusion and every evil work are there. Wow. That's like strife. Self-seeking actually means strife. Confusion and every evil work. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure. pure. Then peaceable. peace. It produces peace. It is gentle. It is willing, willing to, yield. to yield. That's where it strife. Takes, that's where that's where it deals with strife. Yeah, it takes self from me. I'm willing to yield. Yield to who? Truth. That thing that mm. I even had in my heart that I want to do to this person. That, you know, hateful, spiteful word that I wanted to say. You know, that rush of emotions that wants me to speak negatively. Mm. When I yield to truth, I am willing to yield to truth. Then transformation begins to take place in me. I have to be first willing to yield to truth. The wisdom is also full of mercy. And, and good fruits. fruits. Someone offends me. I am merciful. Like my father is merciful. I am willing to take it all in and say, you know what? I forgive you. I don't forgive you and see, put record of all those things that you did. And then I begin tomorrow, to treat you. Treat you. <laughs> or maybe, you know, tomorrow, that's how you did that yesterday. That's how you said that. That's how you did this. That's how you said that. Well, you know, sometimes when, when, when someone, you know, sometimes people, uh, you're supposed to be merciful, forgive and forget. Mm -hmm. But then they don't change. They, don't change, they keep yeah. doing the same, the same thing. Things. Now, you can make reference to, hey, you've been doing this thing for the past. But, but in truth, you can make reference to it in truth. Not making reference to it in bitterness. No, of course not. Yeah. Because some of us make reference to these past experiences in so much bitterness and hurt. That means even you as an individual, you, haven't let you have go. not grown from that. You haven't take, taken responsibility, responsibility over that situation. Yes. Mm. Every full of mercy and good works, without partiality and, and without hypocrisy. hypocrisy. This is a wisdom from our Lord. Now the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace by those who make peace. We're talking about how do I even know this voice? How do I walk in wisdom? How do I walk in truth? When your decision is, first of all, pure, the wisdom that comes to you, the voice that comes to you is pure. 
first of all, make sure your heart is free from envy and strife. And strife. Self seeking. Our time is up. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. good. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Now we're going to continue from here tomorrow. And listen, if there is any envy in your heart or strife, let it go now. If not, you are going to be tampering with demonic wisdom, mm. not God's wisdom. Deadly and sensual. So we join our faith mm. together and we command such evil thoughts out of your heart. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus, be free Amen. from them right Amen. now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I will see you tomorrow. Until then, bye.